If doubts and curiosity plague you, you're skinning your knuckles on the wrong door. The cost of troubling me seems to worry you little. Aethys was the god of rebirth, and his light does not fall on the Deerwood. I've heard some claim it's his doing, his death. It's closed the halls to new souls. I doubt it. The Hollowborn have their roots in the acts of men, women. I feel it. If doubts and curiosity plague you, you're... What? If doubts and curiosity plague you, you're skinning your knuckles on the wrong door. Reminders. Something to think upon. Devotions I can wrap my mind around when chanting words becomes tiresome. Chants lose their strength, but carving symbols into the wood with one's finger, blessed by fire. I find symbols are a greater source of devotion than words. Texts. If there were many texts to be had. Texts remind me of a deer, the perfume of aristocracy. The war of black trees and this staff I carry are the only hymns and devotions I need. And it's a symbol, one that the faithful and faithless alike understand. You still see them. Not all can. But then again, few have a watcher's gift of sight. That symbol, the god hammer. The twelve circles are a sign of the dozen on the bridge, and the dozen of us that let the hammer fall on them, bridge, god, and all. If there's a symbol that is unlikely to ever fade, it's that one. I thought it might be the last the staff would ever hold. Was holding it that day on the bridge when Aethys fell. It was the spark put to the god hammer. Might be the last light that touched Aethys before the pyre ate him. Carved? 
This staff is a history. Acts leave their mark. Some symbols fall into the ash. Others blaze brighter. Memory. Meaning. It's same as the memories in your head, perhaps more trustworthy. Random acts, things done with instinct. They may make lines burning briefly through the wood. Acts devised, planned, that stay with you. Symbols form and tell the story. It's like all memories, except the staff burns it true. When a thought's close, you see it clearer, brighter. Once you forget, they get buried. But like rings in wood, the etchings remain. Keeps me grounded. Also, it's a solid walking stick. Huh. I suspect the answers will seed more questions. She's a goddess, as fickle as they come. And with all the failings you'd expect of an empress and a whore. Too many eyes, too many wants, too much to hold on to. That's the failing of a god. More aspects than words to describe her like most of them. A god with many nations to oversee only serves to spread herself too thin. I suspect the answer is... <laughs> if doubts and curiosity plague you, your skin... Some, shaped for hunt and war, Abidan the Golem, Galawain and his beasts... The latter keeps us honest and awake. The other makes the tools by which we punish those who are not.
before, when you asked about allies, well now, ally, enemy, that's a skin's edge of difference in history's eye. But there were enemies. Were. I suspect the answers will seed more qu That's a curse that runs deeper. It's a god hammer of a different sort. And like the god hammer, it was made by men's hands. There are fewer souls. There are more vessels. It is simply equaling of the process. I feel more remorse in putting down a slathering hound. A wicked? Less than a mongrel in its misery. Murder is a kindness, not a crime. Always has been. I would sooner put the blade to those who are to blame instead. If any spirits should be punished, it's theirs. Murder you? I would not grant you any of them. The mercy I grant the Hollowborn. You would not be deserving of it. Murder is an old word. Mercy is letting a soul fly free to the next body. True punishment? Ruining someone to their soul. Crack their spirit like you would crack their skulls with a staff. Beat them. Hurt them in mind and body, so their souls become shards. But you leave it inside the vessel, like a bag of glass, to either choke on it, or pass it through their bloody stool. Then, leave it in the body to think on it, like planting a new field with the right seed. Many marks... May I make upon your flesh, but flame leaves marks that cannot heal. Margarine doctrine dictates true punishment is one that remains in memory, in memory, in the soul, in the flesh. Even should the victims die, slowly or swift, sometimes by their own hand afterwards, the lesson lingers, burned in their flesh. Have you seen a man branded by flame? He remembers it always, in every waking movement. It is a lesson writ in the only ink and vellum that matters, blood and flesh. One can burn the soul as well. It is an art, and I do not take pleasure in it. But there is more at stake here than forgiveness. Many of Aethas' faith were punished in the purges following the Saints' War. And the ones that harmed children, they suffered worse. We did what must be done. Wherever they were, they were rooted out, their souls reclaimed. And if they couldn't be reclaimed, we ensured they would never inhabit another body.